You know, it's around the time that everyone my year starts to think about college. It's a really turbulent time for education. We're at the height of this modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, or go to grad school, I guess. It's like a universal expectation that people just assume is the only option for them. They don't teach us in high school that there are other options out there. Like trade schools and stuff, you know. Or freelance work. Or the many industries that value skills and experience more than formal education. But you have all these students who have no idea what they want to do with their life. And instead of taking the time to figure it out, they go to college for business or communication or psychology. Not because they have an interest in those fields but because they just hope the degree will get them some kind of job after college. So the end result is that there are fewer jobs to go around for those entry-level degrees, right? So the basic job requirements get higher, which forces even more people to go to college. And colleges are also businesses, so they just keep raising their prices due to the demand. So now we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt, with no job. But despite all that, the routine stays the same. Well, I think it's going to start getting better soon. But until then, our generation is definitely suffering from the worst of it. I just wish high school prepared us a little better with the knowledge we need to make the decision that's right for us. Before you all leave this, the last Monica Monday, I'd just like to say a few words. I'm ever so grateful that you love me so much, and I've loved reading all your comments, but there's someone back here who's put in a lot more work than I have. Her username is an extremely agitated hedgehog, but you can call her Hedgehog for short. Maybe you've heard of her. The fact is that many of you out there mostly know her for a little game called Doki Doki Literature Club, but did you know that she does a lot of other videos besides those? In fact, there's a little something for everyone on her channel. Did you like all the dubs of DDLC? She's done lots of those, Undertale, Steinsgate, and most of all a series called Friend Sim, where she often brings in guest voice actors to do an even broader range of characters. Are Let's Plays more your thing? Even though her series of Let's Plays as characters from the Literature Club has ended, the spirit of the thing still lives on in Buffsicky69, who plays fun and interesting games that you've probably never heard of, but are all amazingly entertaining. If you want to get to know Hedgehog herself and all of her weird friends better, she also streams once a week on either Friday or Saturday, 7 EST. So if watching four idiots play video games and make stupid jokes sounds like a perfect way to spend your evening, then that's the place you should start. Hedgehog also reads a lot of stories. In fact, that's how she got started. She reads everything from SCP tales to creepypasta, weird fiction, and internet stories. But if there's one thing you watch on this channel before your limited attention span takes you elsewhere, please watch Edie Valley. Hedgehog is actually first and foremost a writer, and Edie Valley is her series of connected stories that take place in a suburb where no one is normal. There's teenage mob bosses with katana-wielding sidekicks, ancient dragons who run libraries, reality-hopping gypsy wagons, nearly everything you can think of. And for those of you who can't sit back and listen to a story, Hedgehog includes text versions of all of her stories in the descriptions of the videos to give your eyes something to do. Thank you so much, everyone. There's one more video that will be made, and then it will be farewell for now. Until Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 5 comes out, of course. See you all soon!